In this video, you will learn how to use costumes to change the appearance of sprites in a Scratch animation. This video picks up where we left off in our previous video, which you can find linked in the description of this one. We have an animation where our cat sprite appears, says hello, walks across the screen, says goodbye, and then disappears. We would like to change the animation so the cat walks back across the screen to the left before saying goodbye. So to add that motion, we can use another glide block. I'm going to go up to the motion menu here, select another glide to position block, add that down here under my first glide block. And again, I can adjust the time for how long I want it to take and set the position that I want the sprite to glide to. So I want to go back to my start position where I'm going to enter negative 100. I might also want my sprite to pause for a bit over on the right hand side before it goes back. So I am going to go to control and add another wait block in between my two glide commands. So it waits for a second before going back. Now we will see that when I run this, the sprite says hello, walks over to the right, pauses for one second, then moves back to the left, but it looks like it is walking backwards because it never changed the direction it is facing. So we would like to flip the sprite around or change its appearance so it looks like it is facing to the left and still walking forward instead of walking backward. We're going to do that using the costumes tab up here on the left. Costumes are a feature in Scratch that let you change a sprite's appearance but keep the same underlying sprite and code. So we can see for the cat sprite here, there are two default costumes that in theory you could alternate back and forth to give the cat more of a walking animation, but that's not what we're gonna do here. We are going to create a flipped or mirrored version of this first costume to make it look like the cat is facing to the left. To do that, we are going to right click on costume one up here in the top left corner and select duplicate. Note that this gets a little confusing because we already have a costume two. So it is going to name the next costume costume three, but it is in the second slot here because it created the copy immediately after costume one. So to avoid confusion there, I'm going to drag it down to the third slot. So now I have costume one, costume two, and costume three, and the text name there corresponds to the numbers one, two, and three. Now I am going to flip this costume around so it faces to the left. I'm going to make sure I have the arrow tool selected, and you will notice that if I click on just part of the costume and then click the flip horizontal button up here, it only flips that part of the costume around. So I'm going to click again to flip that back, click and drag to select the entire costume, click flip horizontal, and now the entire cat is facing to the left. Note that there are a bunch of other drawing tools here that you can use to edit costumes or even create your own, but we are not going to go over those in this video. I am just going to mirror this costume so it's facing left, but of course you can edit or create your own costumes if you would like. We are now going to go back over to the code tab and I want to point out that when I run the program, the sprite is already facing to the left because it has already switched to costume three. You can switch the costume in code, which I will explain in a minute, but you can also do it just by clicking to select the active costume on the costumes tab. So since costume three is the last one I had selected, when I go back over to the code tab here, I'm still in costume three. So I am going to switch back to costume one before going over to the code tab. Now, when I run the program, the cat is facing to the right again. I would like the cat to turn around and face to the left after it has reached the right side of the screen and starts going back. So we are going to do that with the switch costume to costume three block. This block has a drop down menu where you can select from the different costumes. So I'm going to drag that out and snap it where I want it into my existing program, which is after the sprite has moved over to the right and waited for one second, 
then I'm going to switch to costume three to face to the left and move back to the left. So when I run here, you see I start facing to the right, say hello, walk over, wait for a second, switch, and then walk back to the left. But again, when I rerun the program, you see I have a problem where I am still in costume three. The last time I ran the program, it switched to costume three, and there is nothing at the beginning the next time I run the program to tell it to switch back to costume one. So to do that, I'm going to add another switch costume two block, and I'm going to change this one to costume one. Now, every time I run the program, it's going to start out facing to the right, walk to the right, switch to the left, walk back to the left, but then after it disappears, when I run the program the next time, it's gonna switch back to costume one and be facing the right direction. You now know how to use costumes to change the appearance of your sprites in Scratch. In the next video in this series, which you can find linked in the description of this one, we'll show you how to add additional sprites to your animation. For instructions for science projects you can do with Scratch, check out the links in the description of this video. For over a thousand other projects in all areas of science and engineering, visit our website, www.sciencebuddies.org.